Hey, I'm Sean O'Connell, Managing Editor at Cinema Blend, and this is my Top 10 of the Year. I love Stephen King, and I love the story It, so I was totally surprised that they knocked the adaptation of this amazing story out of the park. All of the kids in It are amazing, Bill Sarsgaard is great as Pennywise, I cannot wait to see what this franchise does with its sequel. Baby Driver is the perfect mix of blockbuster entertainment and a fantastic soundtrack with one of the best ensembles that I've seen on screen this whole year. Edgar Wright knocks another one out of the park. Baby Driver was a huge hit. Your name's Baby. B-A-B-Y Baby. I have no idea why I slept on Wind River originally. I love writer-director Taylor Sheridan and his original film Hell or High Water made my top five last year. So I'm glad I finally caught up with it because this one made my top 10 list by becoming an absolutely brilliant page turner of a crime thriller featuring outstanding performances by Jeremy Renner and Elizabeth Olsen. This isn't the land of backup, Jane. This is a land of your on your own. I mean, normally we come to expect greatness from Pixar, but when they've been doing sequels time and time again, I love when they get to something original like they did with Coco. It's a story about the Mexican Day of the Dead, but it's also this beautiful tribute to family and music. And by the end of it, I was a blubbering mess. It absolutely absolutely makes my 10 best of the year. Equal parts beautiful and depressing, The Florida Project is a painfully accurate snapshot of struggling Americans living in the shadows of Disney World, the quote-unquote happiest place on earth. The ending is an absolute gut punch, but this one still remains a must-see. Love you, baby! I love you too! Easily the most divisive movie of the year, and I totally understand why it might drive some people crazy trying to figure out what Darren Aronofsky is doing here. But Mother is the work of an artist, and he has created a masterful work of art that people will be analyzing for years to come. Good Time is the most uncomfortable movie experience that I had in 2017, but that's a good thing. Robert Pattinson shines as an incompetent bank robber trying to pull off a heist, and this unpredictable thriller kept me on the edge of my seat. The concept sounds strange. A janitor at a government facility falls in love with the amphibian man who is kept in one of the group's top secret water tanks. But the finished product of The Shape of Water is beautiful, heartbreaking, exciting, and sad. Guillermo del Toro's movie is one of the year's best. When he looks at me, he doesn't know how I am incomplete. Logan lands on my list for being the year's best comic book movie, but also for being the mature and somber Wolverine movie the fans have been waiting for. Hugh Jackman gives his best performance as the character. I absolutely love this movie. And easily one of my favorite movies of 2017 is Steven Spielberg's The Post, which is a thrilling and important movie about the power of journalism. It has a brilliant cast, all working for a brilliant director. Movies don't get much better than this. Is that legal? What is it you think we do here for a living, kid? Thanks so much, guys. I appreciate it. Tell me your top 10 in the comment section below.